Hello and welcome to the Telephone Church service for Kinver and Enville. Each week on a Sunday and a Thursday we will put up a short service and reflection to help us during this time while we are unable to gather together to worship. This is the service for Sunday the 15th of November, the second Sunday before Advent. Though we are apart, the Lord is with us. Though we are apart, the Lord is with us. The Collect Prayer for the Second Sunday Before Advent Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil and to make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant that we, having this hope, may purify ourselves even as he is pure, that when he shall appear in power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom. Amen. Today's Bible reading and reflection are drawn from Psalm 121 and will be read by Sheila Harriman. Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to stumble. He who watches over you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. It is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Hello, I'm Sheila, one of the community at St Peter's in Kinver. Psalm 121 is much loved. I chose it because with the Covid virus around, I know that many people are feeling very isolated and fearful. I want to share three short ideas with you, which may just help. As a child, I was very much an introvert, always with my nose in a book. Somewhere I picked up the crazy idea that I had to be perfect so I conformed to rules and even chose a career in law. I worked for local councils with a vague idea that by being part of a team in public service, we could make things work better. It was a very satisfying career choice, but one with lots of stress because much of my work was focused on abused children and adults, and I really felt the burden. Then I got really lucky. I went on a short course which encouraged me to change how I thought. I ditched the straight jacket of trying to be perfect in all that I did and let out some of the extrovert, imaginative child that had been locked down. Like pop out of a bottle that's been shaken, my life took off. I was able to relax and share responsibilities. Within 18 months, I'd married a lovely man I'd known for merely 20 years. My marriage changed me for the better because I learned to look through someone else's eyes into how the world was. When my husband died five years later, suddenly, unexpectedly and very far away from me, I was devastated. I was on my own for the first time in my life. What really helped me was the kindness of people around me and particularly, I remember, from the most unexpected sources. I've always loved poetry, and here is one small extract by John Donne that you will almost certainly have heard before. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Interestingly, science has now accepted the urban myth of six degrees of separation. This is an idea that says, for example, a nomadic herder in Tibet 
can be linked to a ballet dancer in London going through just four other people and their close human connections. The myth now appears to be true. We are far more widely connected than we ever thought. Looking back to the psalm, we're promised that even six degrees of separation is overly generous because we're always in the presence of God who knows us and loves us without any reservation. So when feelings of loneliness or fear threaten to overwhelm you, you can be certain of these three things. People are out there wanting to help you and you are free, entirely free to ask for that help. Your connection to just about anybody on the planet today is much closer than you ever thought. And your connection to a loving father is even closer, right next to you, like a fabulous present about to be opened. We're all longing for more normal times and to be with our family and friends again. And this will come. But as Winston Churchill once said, when you're going through hell, keep going. my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord, help us to lift our eyes to you, that we would look to you for help and strength. When we focus our eyes on ourselves or on the comforts of this world, draw them back to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Even as we grow weary, Lord, we know that you do not. Sometimes the help you offer is an invitation to rest. Help us to take up this invitation. May we not forget that, like heaven and earth, time is also your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you are always with us, and all our circumstances are under your control and authority. When the sun seems too hot, lead us to the shade you offer. When the night seems too dark, help us find the light by which you guide us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you protect us and we belong to you. You were before us, and you will be after us. There is nowhere we can go that you are not. Help us to trust. Help us to be faithful. Help us to truly know you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, our help maker of heaven and earth, keeper of our going out and our coming in. Hear our prayer. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We hope you have enjoyed this service. It will stay on this number until Thursday, when we will put up a short service of night prayer, and then from next Sunday you'll be able to hear a new service and reflection. Please do pass on this number to anyone who you think would find it helpful. And until we meet again, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. May the road rise before you And the wind be always at your back May the sun 
shine brightly on your face and the rain falls softly on your fields and until we meet again may God hold you in the hollow of his hand